Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources, and today, Can Republic, today we're gonna focus on a greener future. Right, that's vague enough. I guess I'm. Go I bet you won't guess what we're gonna focus on. But um, yeah, okay. Uh, hit the comment section. Obviously, I'm gonna tell you in a few minutes. But uh, yeah, I think we tried it once. Uh, just a, there, there's a hint. That's enough. Uh, right. Let me just check some of the stuff from here. So this heating plant over here works like a charm. At least it looks like it is. So uh, estimated drain. Okay. 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 I think I might, I might, I might, I might. Let's try this. What's the maximum drain? 129%. Okay. So what if I detonate this heating plant over here? Bang. And now, boom! Pressure, pressure, pressure. So we removed a geothermal heating plant at the moment. Uh, we do have two connectors over here. I'm just going to monitor this for a second. Uh, this is because I really, really need to stop uh, using geothermal power. Um, <clears throat> like I previously said, I have absolutely nothing against it. In personal life, in real life, I think geothermal is the energy of the future that we need to discover new technologies, go Iceland and stuff like that. Uh, oh, look at... This guy here doesn't like to be connected to the road network. Right, but um, in in uh, <clears throat> in the game here, I would prefer coal energy just because, well, it's a game, and um, I think uh, the whole chunk of um, Soviet economy and the, uh, all that good stuff was based around um, coal, and I think it's a huge part of the culture and the gameplay and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm looking at who has ability to be educated in college here and whole crap load of people. Not these two buildings though. Can we connect them a little bit better? I don't think so. I don't think so. <clears throat> Let's see here. 180 meters there. I can cut the corner here and a little bit there. I don't I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Let, let them just not be educated and that's it. The uh, rest of the city can be educated more than enough but but um yes i'm gonna go and do something different today something that i said i'm gonna do a long time ago but i never did it university housing i don't think it's here i think we're gonna have to go to I think it's... is it in residential or... I know we had one building. Let me see if maybe we have it here. This would be uh, in in a different... University shop for relationships, hospital partners... Um, here it would be under... was it under education? Yeah, it would be, but uh, it's um, uh, hostels. University halls of residence. Something like this. Let me just check because we have a unique opportunity to unique opportunity to to experiment with this. I never made this work. I literally never made this work, and uh, I would like to try it. I would like to give it a go. Currently, we have 28 students. That's not a lot, but uh, hey. Beggars can be choosers, right? So let me try to plonk them in here and see if they're gonna like it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with a long one. This is vanilla building. It's a long, 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 uh, long ass building. And I think I'm gonna go with this one first. So let's try to level this area. And let's try to put it in here. I have a this gas, this trans gas building is a little bit, um, a little bit wonky, but uh, I can fix that uh, soon. Not wonky, yeah, it's uh, angled, but um, yeah, I shouldn't have built it right that, uh, like that. I should have built it a little bit better, but doesn't matter. This is beautiful, beautiful mod. It's a trans gas building from Czechoslovakia. Don't get me wrong, I always thought it was like either Czech Republic, Brno, or is it in a big city in Slovakia? I do apologize. I forgot. Um, Right, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really beautiful building, and I really like it, and it's... Uh, 
monstrosity. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. We have student accommodation here. We always have issues with uh, people, with population in this city. Um, we have um, too many people living well everywhere, and usually we need to um, voluntarily depopulate them. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay, uh, so these are two further buildings. Uh, they don't have education, so I'm gonna go and start doing this. So we need more people working in this area. And by the way, not only that we need more people working in this area, we're gonna focus on this area today. Um, I'm gonna try to see if these guys can have everything that they need in this area. Go away, and then the second one. I'm gonna see if they are connected with everything and um, that uh, they have access to food and stuff and uh, let me just check. Um, right, so your walking food is barely there. Uh, you don't have... this is a gym and what is this? Fire station. Fire station is fine. Oh wow, that's a small fire station. Uh, right, okay, so next stop, gym. Uh, we're gonna need a gym around here. And yes, we have this enormous monstrosity of a gym as well. So I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, we have both sports hall and uh, Bazain. I think it's a pool or something. Um, well, it's a, it's a gym. It's a, let's call it a gym. Uh, I'm gonna build this monstrosity over here. And uh, yes, congratulations, go and work. The only problem we need to be worried around here is uh, heating as well. These buildings are sucking the heat out of the existence of heat or... Yeah, anyway. Um, they, they require a lot of heat. And since I'm in kind of like a student mode right now, um, bringing, ba uh, bringing us back to the student times, let me real quickly just comb through this... Um, um, through this area and see if I can find something that looks like a um, construction office residential. I'm gonna check that. Mine, power plant, school, broadcasting, storage, railroad, construction, production line, fire stations, farm, sports playground. I don't think it's here. It's not under a university. I can check that real quickly because... Maybe it is. How's this? Letters, workers, 60... University Institute, Downtown Institute, Small Maritime University, Medical University, Transgas Headquarters of Communist Party, Technical University, University, a Research Institute, that's not it, Medical, this is not it, um, Headquarters of Communist Party, Medical Institute, no, I don't think it's here, Technical University. The only place we can look for it now is in the... Um, residential area, but that's uh, that would be a little bit strange because, well, I never had a mod that is F. There we go. Here we go. That's it. That's the one. Uh, that's the one that uh, I wanted to build, and I remember it. It's halls, university halls of residence. So I'm gonna just build that one and see if uh, this is gonna, well, uh, um, if this is the one that we need. Uh, let me just give it. Uh, I'm gonna squeeze it in around here just. So potentially we can put a second one if it works. Actually, you know what? Since you... I'm in a mood. Okay, I'm in a mood. Let's go twice. Uh, university is right here. We have 50, 60 students. That's fine. All is good. Right. Okay. Green future. I don't know if you voted in the comment section. You should have. Because there's going to be prizes. No, there's not. Uh, but... Um, I was well intended to have rice. No, I didn't. Um, we're gonna get this chemical industry uh, up and running. Now, you're gonna ask, where is the future? What are you talking about green future there? Yeah, we're gonna be building greenhouses. Uh, there are two absolutely enormous greenhouses. And um, yeah, let's talk about them right now. Okay, so this is the area, 18 fields. And these 18 fields produce more or less four or 5,000 tons of crops every day. Right. That's an interesting amount, but we need something... Uh, f well, we need more food. We need more crops. What the hell is happening here? It's October. Okay, it's only October, actually. They probably... I'm hoping that they... Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I'll never learn. I swear, I'll never learn. Okay. Um... Let's let's do this. Um, cargo station go export. Let's see load 
Don't wait until loaded, just go. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, now I messed up the line. This would be... Uh, okay, this is not it. Uh, this one. No. This one. Who's exporting alcohol around here? Well, uh, looks like none of them are actually. Well, let's check it out. Uh, we have we have a line here that is alcohol exports NATO, right? That's the one. And we lost a brother. Brother is this one, right? And then I will go go here and tell you to don't wait until loaded, because uh, you're causing problems. Let's see now. Off you go. Off you go. Off you all of you go. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> this is gonna resolve a lot of issues, and uh, we'll, we'll see right now. Uh, right, uh, the alcohol exports is not really our main concern right now, and wait, there's no workers here. Yeah, we still have an issue here. What's the issue? The issue is hundreds of workers working over here. No, I still think we have an issue around here. There's something wrong with this area. Uh, there's a couple of thousands of people here and that nobody is going to the bus stop to, to go for work. That's a strange, 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 strange thing. That's fine. Uh, let me just check the capacities here. So we have crops. That's also strange because they should be using the hell out of those crops. Right, there we go. We have two of these buildings now being constructed and that's probably the main issue we have around here. Okay, so crop production. So we need chemicals to produce crops and we need crops to produce chemicals. Yes, that's actually a thing. I want to show you why. Uh, we're going to talk about this just in a second. Let me lower this to 50 workers each. That's fine. Uh, hopefully somebody is going to go and work in the actual... Oh, right. Cheat mode. Cheat mode on. And of course we need to go and turn on the line spacing. Okay, I'm recording this episode, so I'm recording this episode uh, on Monday, this is Tuesday's episode. So what I did, I recorded um, uh, first, um, I recorded a Monday's episode on Monday, so today, so you guys watching, you watched yesterday's Monday episode and Mod Monday episode, uh, both of those I recorded like now. Um, on, on Monday, and uh, this is a Tuesday's episode, I'm also recording on Monday, I can't really record them on the same day always, but I tr try to do it as much as I can. Anyway, let's um, not talk about my uh, issues, but let's talk about the greenhouses. So, we have a couple of greenhouses here, and I had them for a while. Um, I think I tested them in one or two episodes, but um, let me talk uh, why I decided to try it out now. Look, it's the building is absolutely enormous. It's, it's like, absolutely enormous. It takes... 367 tons of steel to construct this big building. But this one building um, can actually uh, give us 11 tons of crops per day. Now, for 100 days, that would be... For 10 days, that's 110 uh, tons of crops. For 100 days, that's 1,100. 300 days, that would be 3,300 tons of crops. And 65 days, you can count it, but it would be just ar around 4,000 tons of crops. But now, compare it to three of these fields. Each field, um, each field over here can give us... Each field over here can give us 305 tons of crops per year. Per year. That's 1,000 tons of crops, more or less. Let's say 1,000 tons of crops. So, for the future, if we are ever meant to be um, utilizing the maximum production of our crops, we're gonna have to uh, try to focus on these bad boys as well. Now, this is kind of this is a new area where I'm, we are built already. The um, where we built our chemical factory. Now that's totally different pair of shoes and we're gonna need a lot of stuff over here and uh, let me just see if we have uh, what do we need we're gonna need whole crap load of stuff over here and let me just see is this okay these guys are responsible for supplying this but I have a feeling that I can get them to supply this as well okay so what I said initially here that we're gonna go for um, for uh, greenhouses. Let's let's try to see. Let's see if we can connect that. This is absolutely enormous. Of course, uh, these guys they only not only need chemicals, they need coal and electricity, and they need a lot of electricity. That's uh, one thousand uh, what uh, ten megawatts, uh, 10, ten megawatt hours of power. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's like two of these. We need a power plant like this to to power it on. 
like only two of those. Okay, now the problem is they have um, industrial connections, but they are kind of in the wrong place. So I'm not really sure if this is going to be a thing that I'm going to be able to do. We can always try something with forklifts, but uh, you can see that this is not really fitting around here perfectly and snugly. <sighs> Did you even expect it, Will? <laughs> it would. Um, no, uh, I don't think anybody did, but uh, hey ho. Okay, so we need to get this to work. So I was thinking of something like this. Um, the main thing is that we, again, the train station here is close enough to any connection to the people walking to work, and I think this would be perfect. Um, perfect um, location. Of course, it's going to require a lot of leveling. So let's try to start on that. Um, I'm going to go and choose this area which was kind of accepted for leveling and I'm going to try to <clears throat> to level this forested area over here. I think this is the one that's going to need uh, the most work on uh, to be worked on. We have a lot of construction offices around here. You can see that there's like six bulldozers, so that means at least three construction offices are in range and I'm not really sure if this is gonna, going to be good or not. Um, but I'll, I'll give it a go, I'll give it a go. So, this is one thing that I wanted to do. So, this um, this greenhouse around here, you can see again where we need to level stuff. And the second one would be a small greenhouse that I wanted to plonk around here. Uh, maybe in this direction, you can see where the main entrance to the greenhouse is. And I think I can make this one work. I don't have to do a lot of leveling. Well, they're gonna have to do a lot of leveling. I can still push it a little bit further towards the chemical plant. But this is not gonna be connected to chemical plant. I'm gonna have to transport everything on our own. And um, that's fine. That's fine. The only problem is, the only thing that I would like to um, help them with is to have the... Uh, coal connection, um, coal connection here. How much does this cost if I wanted to pay it, uh, pay for this? One million and this one, 1.6 million. Yeah, they're pretty expensive, but also bear in mind it's 1980s and uh, everything is a little bit more pricier than usual. And look at this, uh, this is perfect because the coal connection would be at the same time, so at least we can have direct connection from the coal um, well, area over here and uh, um, have a co conveyor belt connecting it there. But uh, of course, as you saw, um, this is far from done. We need to level this um, this area a little bit more. Maybe, what about this one? Do we like this one still or not? I'm just thinking about this. Yeah, I'm not sure. This one goes much, much faster because it's kind of just equalizing the terrain. But uh, I'm not sure if it equalizes, is, is it equalizing it in the right direction? Because if I go back here, this looks a little bit better. But uh, still, uh, you can see the corner there just near these trees over here. Uh, this needs to be leveled. In what direction leveled? I have no idea because I'm just leveling it at the moment, so like equalizing the averaging it out. I'm thinking that if I slowly move it to here as they come to a higher uh, ground uh, that it kind of like lowers it down. I mean it, it uh, lowers it down in, at the expense of the lower ground that is actually in a good um, location but if I go again on the lower ground here it's actually raising it up so let's see how does this look right now. Is the same. Not too happy about it. Again, um, let me let me go back to the basics and try try this. Um, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of work, uh, and I'm kind of hoping for the best. And you know what? I want them to start on this as soon as possible. But uh, I want to make sure that we have um, conveyor belt connection there because that's kind of important. As soon as we can get that, uh, what the hell am I clicking on? So we have a conveyor belt, uh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna try with the road one, so I'm gonna play with these guys. Um, okay, so something like this uh, is what I wanted. Right. Okay, so something like this. Wow, okay, this can build a road underneath the conveyor belt, that's strange. But that's fine. Okay, at least I'm, I'm happy that it can do it. <laughs> so if I do like this... Yeah, my ass, I knew it. There's something wrong with this. 
Yeah, it's it's. I think it's not gonna be that easy. So um, if you go for a road connection, this one, and I think if it's um, if it's suspecting at all that it's not gonna fit, it's not gonna build the the conveyor belt. But that, this is fine. Okay. So we need to find a way to get a call from here. Okay, we got it. And this one, I'm, it might be a little bit too far. Wait, let me just try it. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, water boy. Okay, I give up on the road, uh, road um, connectors. I'm gonna go for these bad boys here. Uh, Okay, this is gonna be iffy. This is gonna fit um, tightly. Yeah, this is gonna be tight. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, you're fighting me, you're fighting me, you're fighting me. Okay, let's try to do it manually. Will it fit? Not from this direction. You can always try in the opposite direction because it's a little bit different. Infrastructure below. Okay, for some reason doesn't like the infrastructure below, so let's try it again. I'm, I'm pretty sure that these guys won't uh, work here, but uh, I can always give it a good shot. Now, these these uh, vanilla ones are not that good. Okay, so let's try. I'm, I'm kind of... I, I don't think I should be struggling with this. I think I should be doing a little bit better job with this. So let me do this. Let me do... Do this. This way. Okay. Come on. Rotate it. There we go. There we go. Come on. You know what? Yeah. We, we don't have to force it. We don't have to force it in Luke. We can just do it like this. There we go. And everything else that is not connected, I will uh, pay for the conveyor belts. Uh, I don't think I ever saw conveyor belt per se. Ex uh, catch a fire so they don't really have to be connected to well anything and this all can be constructed well on their own what the hell is this okay um you know what to speed this up i'm gonna connect this one to the mud road on the other side level the area there we go bang let the games begin that's gonna take a while okay uh well it's not gonna take as much as we're gonna need to spend on this one here Again, rotate. Uh, we need the gravel intake to be here, and it is. And of course, we're gonna need a little bit more space right now. Okay, this is something that we're gonna work on. Okay, let me try one more time with this um, averaging it out. So if we go from the higher area and uh, lower or, or average everything over here, then we can try to push it down the hill I think that's going to be a little bit faster. It should do, it should do, you know, like technically what we're doing here, I'm averaging this circle. This circle has to be flat. Uh, getting up uh, some parts, lowering the other ones, but all in all, I technically I should be pushing the ground down there. And yeah, so I'm pushing the ground in this direction. Um, of course, and that's the most important part, that the ground is being pushed all the time and let's see how we're doing now uh, much worse much worse so <laughs> it doesn't work like that okay um, yeah I don't know I give up I think I'm gonna just have to level this area and that's it level it to this height and uh, do as much as I can for it but anyway, uh, yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan for now, that um, uh, we should start getting a little bit more crop uh, production up. And of course, that's going to be at the expense of our chemical industry and uh, coal, not really an expense, and electricity, again, not really an expense, because we're building too big a coal power plant over here. But that means like 50 to 75 percent of that electricity is going to be used for crop production. And of course, around 200 kilos of chemicals per day, well, 
200, no, 150 kilos of chemicals a day uh, are going to be used for for production of the of the crops. Mm, that's fine. That's like fertilizers and whatnot. Uh, how are we doing over here? Well, this is going going better, but I'm kind of afraid that this this corner over here that this is not going to be. Can I just like dig a hole here, and they're gonna be? Because I think these uh, excavators are doing a little much faster lowering of the terrain. Yeah, I have a feeling that they are doing a little bit faster job. Because uh, technically what I'm doing now is just making that dirt disappear and then averaging it out or leveling it out it's a little bit faster because that dirt is just going all the way down well, as much as I can. So I can finish excavating this. You can see that the middle part still has a lot of a lot of way to go. So if I go for let's say this um, averaging it out now and I go in this from this direction they're gonna They're gonna take a lot of dirt from the right hand side and push it to the left hand side because we're equalizing it with that. So technically this would... Yeah, maybe maybe I should give up on this uh, in the future. Of course now it's too late because I'm too stubborn. Uh, but in the future maybe I should give up on this in the, um, and, and just build two smaller ones. Because they're more compact. How many people work in there anyway? 165 and 225 here. Okay, let's let's try to see if this is going to work out or not. Um, okay, I need this. I need this uh, input over here. So I need. If I'm gonna put a smaller one, it has to be something like this. It doesn't have to. We have a connection over here. What am I talking about? Yeah, okay, let's try this. And probably the bigger one should go in less hilly areas, so the bigger greenhouse. Okay, I'm gonna push it a little bit closer to the to the roadside. Actually, I don't have to. I think this is gonna be close enough for our pathways. Uh, so they're gonna be connected to the train station easily and uh, yet I'm gonna leave them a little bit more space for whatever they need to build. Um, I'm pretty sure that the both uh, this road here and uh, of course. Okay, what about... There we go. Uh, something like this, constructed, and then I'm gonna go for mud road on the other side just because why the hell not? Uh, so we can start construction straight away, of course. Uh, as usual, as usual, you guys are fully aware of this. Okay, so this is a little bit smaller version of... Yeah, actually, that, that's probably a better way of doing it, because, you know, you don't build a nuclear reactor starting from, like, the biggest one ever. You probably should test it first. Okay, so this is... Um, uh, let's see, it's a sign. Of course it is, and they are already bringing uh, stuff here. Not really, but hopefully they will. Okay. So, we need to make this work. I'm gonna have direct lines going there for chemicals and that's it. Everything else is gonna be supplied from the power plant and chemical plant, coal, what else do I need? So, two of these are supposed to be producing just under 12 tons at maximum production. That's gonna require 325 people. Am I right? Am I right? No, 330 people. They're gonna need a ton of coal a day, which is not a problem, and um, 50 kilos of chemicals a day. Found me 50 kilos. That's not bad. That's okay. Okay, and uh, right, so let's get this uh, working. So what do we need here? We still don't have trees. We need trees. The best logger we have is the, the Ural truck, I think. Ooh, look at the Zill one. Zill has 14 tons capacity, this one only has 7. Sweet! What's the deal then? Uh, wait, all of them have 20 speed and level. Oh, okay. So, what do I go for? Capacity then? 
I would assume so. So Zill has 9 tons, 14 tons, 12, 12, 4.5, 4. Oh, okay, then it's Urals, right? Uh, yeah, well, fine, let's go with this. Okay, you don't need power supply. Don't tell me you need power supply. You need to go. I think they need a power supply. Uh, they're connected directly to this, that's fine. You need gravel and oil. Okay, so how do we get this here? So they have enormous oil storage, that's fine, and they have a really good gravel storage for like 20 days of gravel. But where's gravel here? The closest gravel we have is in Pojici. It's somewhere around there. It's not that bad, actually. Um, I think I'm gonna be running it with a distribution office. So we have a distribution office over here, and I think I'm gonna just assign this to it as well. So. You're gonna get all the stuff to this chemical plant. Perfect. So you're gonna be loading... Um, seriously? Chemicals are required here? Not really. They require oil. Uh, but we need oil tankers. So I'm gonna get oil tankers as well. So let's go for purchasing power and uh, oil tanks and go for one, two, three, four. Perfect. And then if we scroll down, you can see that oil appeared over here. Yes, you're going to be delivering oil, crops are going to be supplied locally and imported, wood is already supplied and chemicals are not really required. You need gravel. Okay, for gravel you're going to need um, dumper trucks. So we're going to buy uh, four, maybe initially four, but I think we might need a little bit more dumper trucks. So let's go, one, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. And uh, now let's source stuff. So you're sourcing stuff from where? What is actually getting here in this cargo station? Okay, chemicals... No, no, not chemicals, chemicals. This is a chemical factory. Get your act together, Oliki. Okay. Uh, you need gravel. Okay, gravel is here. Okay, so you're gonna be loading and I'll select gravel just in case. And then you need oil. Uh, oil, oil, crude oil. Okay, that's a problem. That is a problem because I don't really have anywhere to tap into oil. Like, <laughs> this is fun part. But actually it is funny because uh, I do have all these oil fields and oil pipelines, but I don't have oil loading station. Let me just check, do you load oil? Do you even oil? No, you don't. You see that it's grayed out. So, no oil there. No oil there. Uh, here? Okay, here's oil. Okay. We can tap into oil into the refinery directly. I think that's fine. I think uh, I think that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna go to a refinery and then uh, it's gonna be loading and loading oil. That's the closest to a civilization we have. I can go and probably tell them to load here but that's pretty far away in the muddy area. Um, oil goes so-so, a little bit maybe even slower here but I think, I think they're gonna be fine. I, I'm hoping they're gonna be fine. We'll see. Maybe I shouldn't be hoping so much as resolving this this issue okay let's um let's go and check these guys if we lost something nope all fine since i started manning our uh, uh, fire stations uh, definitely much better look if they're swinging that means that they're fine if they're not swinging there's issues and you can see that the voltage here is uh wonky uh, i think that could be an issue so let me just check if this is yeah, okay. Um, this is uh, kind of expected. I don't know why I did this. Uh, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. But um, yeah, I connected these power cables with the shittiest, crappiest pieces of crap that I could find cables. And um, the, you want to guess if that was a stupid idea? Yes, you guessed it. You are a smart person. Because they're sucking more than these cables can provide. And where is this electricity coming from? Okay. Uh, can I source this electricity from somewhere else? Looks like it's coming from here. That's fine. Uh, okay. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna just remove all these cables here. I think maybe even removing this cable and put it in a proper cable here would resolve most, if not all, of our issues. Okay, let me, let me try this. <coughs> Come on. Build it. Bang! Power. They're using two uh, two megawatts of power, just under two, one and a half megawatt. Okay, that's fine. 
Now this is perfectly fine, so they're not using more than these cables can handle. That's a good news, but uh, these guys can be using a little bit more electricity. So, okay, this one, these guys are not, so technically there's 0 0.5 megawatts coming here. I can't see anything. Okay. Let's click on this and let's see where the power connectors are. Power, power, power. Here we go. Okay, one is over here. Let's check those connectors. Okay, voltage is stable and high. Perfect. And 300 megawatts. Uh, 300 kilowatts would be that. Uh, and here we have 600 kilowatts. Yes, okay. So this, this is now working much better. So only one cable fixed everything. Yes, that's me, Mr. Fix-It. Mr. Complicate your life and then... Uh, what the hell are you doing? Okay, this guy is stealing oil. Um, that means that this chemical industry in uh, Usti is using a lot of oil. Which is fine, which is... which is with... Uh, that, that, that's nice, but that's so cute. Um, uh, let me see if it is. Yeah, okay, so this is full. So what the hell is this guy doing? Okay, this is always full, but this guy is still over here waiting to be loaded. Is he uh, unloading here? Wait until unloaded? Yes. Okay, he's full. Yeah, th th there's enough oil here to last them for a while, so... I'm not really sure where the... Where he's unloading. Because this is not reloading the oil here, it's actually going to both chemical and plastics factories. Plastics is more or less... Uh, not really stopped, but it's not progressing that fast because there's not much need for it but chemicals chemicals are doing much better than before again we need more people here and again we need an episode on usti and again i'm not doing it today okay people population uh pueblo 142,000. 680 people living in their parents we need to resolve this asap uh winter is here and also that means that we're gonna try to check on our population and their happiness and heating and all that stuff kindergarten you you want kindergarten perfect no worries not really perfect but um that better than me self telling you the no way in hell you're getting a kindergarten um okay so we have a gym there and let's try to get a kindergarten somewhere around here here we go uh, big big business requires big kindergarten where is it big kindergarten here we go okay Okay, I'm pretty happy with this one, and then I'm just gonna connect it to the main road, and it's all up to you. Oh hell no, this looks horrible, these roads are absolutely appalling. Um, yeah, I don't like this at all. Uh, <coughs> we remove you, and this can stay, uh, this cannot stay, this has to go. That also means that uh, our main uh, transport from... Uh, export transport is going this way. You can see that some of the trucks are probably going to be turning around and going in the opposite direction, but that's fine. Okay, so this is a new road we're going to have. Let me see if I can be... Yeah, wait, I hell not. This way, and then this kindergarten actually can be moved around a bit. Let me demolish this, and look at this one here. Horrible. And kindergarten again, we're gonna go to a kindergarten section and since again I'm gonna repeat, we're gonna try to get to a million people at one point. Uh, not sure if that's even possible. We're gonna we're gonna go for it and see how far we can get. Um, yes, so I'm gonna build this one this connection over here. Just because I know, actually, you know what, I wanted to build it straight away, but no, I, I will um, I will just connect it like this, and that's fine. Uh, student accommodation here is requiring a lot of materials, and actually both of them are on the last stages. They just need materials, and that's it. I'm pretty sure that they should be getting all of that. They say there that there's no boards or steel, but that's probably not the... no, no boards and steel the air because there is a lot of them in this storage where they're gonna be getting everything from 
So the, they should be fine. Uh, that should be fine. A road construction whenever you can. Uh, yeah, this road is not straight, but it doesn't have to be. It's fine. Uh, what we're gonna construct next here? We're gonna need more population. Pueblo. Um, oh, 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 oh. Uh, we need. Um, uh, this is gonna be a new part of town, and we need a new shopping center. Okay. Um, uh, LDZ. Okay, this is one of them as well. So let's see here. Um, we're not importing anything into our shop here. It has a lot of uh, shoppers, but it's fully staffed and we don't have any food issues. So they can transfer all the meats and all the food on their own. So our people, our workers can transfer food on their own from here. We don't have, I don't think if we check everywhere, there's not going to be anybody lacking food a lot of them need kindergartens though no, there's no food requirements uh, in this town even though this is the only shop and this town has 6,000 people 6,000 2,656 uh, um, workers that's a lot coffee time okay so um, green industries go uh, green industries we are producing it let them build it and they're getting all the gravel. Oh, look at this. This is actually progressing a little bit better, more or less. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Um, coal power plant. Yeah. I didn't check if it's connected to these guys because they're huge and probably they have only centralized power connector. And that's fine. I'm going to build a transformer station. Doesn't. Whoa. They're going to need much more electricity than that. If they're going to require like 10 mega. Okay. Let, let me see if they have any high voltage uh, connection to them no high voltage i don't see anything let me see the, the smaller one no i don't see anything but they, they do require a lot of electricity so that's a, that's a tricky one they do require the smaller ones that we are building greenhouses uh, and greenhouse mid medium <laughs> mid <laughs> yeah that's a huge one uh, 7.2 megawatt uh, hours of power so we'll see we'll see uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it uh, all of this needs to be constructed that's fine okay uh, headhunters let's go and check where we have overpopulated cities let's try to build additional buildings for them and see if uh, our people need something. There's no overpopulation over here at the moment. Uh, we have these one building. And um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, it's close. It's close to overpopulation. So maybe, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, this is prevention, prevention. Uh, right, the second town hall, we already transferred some people from here and they're already full. <laughs> Yeah, that's so that's so fun, fun, fun. Wow, they don't require anything. Look how happy people in this town are. That's just incredible. They don't require anything except alcohol, but uh, no dice. Uh, there we go. One requires hospital. Okay, you're gonna be complainers. Uh, you're you're moving. Uh, how are we doing with uh, alcohol production here? Well, workers are at least going to work. So it's it's producing, but. Um, as you may know, this is not ideal. Uh, food, everything is gone, so we need to finish these buildings. And I'm pretty sure that this town, as previously checked, is pretty much okay. Now we come to the problematic ones. Pshaloch. Pshaloch, 70 people. We're gonna do the usual stuff. We're gonna go for big building on one side and big building on the other side. And we're gonna find you new homes. Svinyi is a problematic uh, town because we need... <clears throat> we need... Um, Oh, the bridge is done here. We need a heating plant over here. Uh, we need more heating. Yeah, uh, this is maxed out. And I'm pretty sure that some buildings... Uh, yes, you can see already that... Whoa, that's a bad, bad... Mayor. Yeah, the heating, heating, heating. We're gonna, we're gonna do that soon. Uh, shall, okay, let's continue on. And we have 91 people here, just in case. We're gonna go for the biggest building on this side. Old school building and biggest building on this side. And congratulations, you are gonna be living somewhere else. And then we have uh, Usti, the town with 200 people. 
We're gonna go for building on this side, and then let's see. Uh, let's go for these two buildings next to the railroad station. Probably the buildings that we shouldn't be touching because they are the ones supplying chemical industry with people. But uh, there we go. This is this side of the river, on this side of the country as well. So let's try to get them over here. Close. Let me see if these guys have everything that they need. Yeah, they have food. That's important. Uh, culture, sports. Uh, yeah, that's not ideal. Okay, I think I'm gonna go and uh, speed this up for them. Uh, let's do this. How much do you cost? 109,000. Perfect. So the sports. You need culture as well. Okay, let's do that as well. So you need culture. That would be a cinema. If I was a cinema, where would I be again? Yeah, this is kind of shuffled. It all went around. I hate this. Uh, here we go. So the cinema is here and it was on the left hand side. Uh, Bolshoi? Bolshoi. Something I'm gonna pay for. So let's not be too expensive. Uh, ooh, state opera. 1.4 million. That's too much. What about just giving them a New Year Square? They have one over here. Wait, wait, wait. If they have one over here, are they not going there? Well, it's in range. So what's the deal with the square? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> There's way, many, more, many more people than I can actually handle. Cinema Cosmos. Let's go for something of better quality. Main library. I like, I like library. I like that um, this is a thing now for like geeks and stuff. And uh, that's probably where I would be hanging out. <laughs> Uh, Palace of Culture. Why the hell not? This looks like it has a lot of uh, people. And um, there's a lot of space over here. So let's see if we can do something like this. Uh, rotate it this way. Bam! Okay, 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 okay. Is this a thing? Is this... 533. Okay. I'm just checking if our people are happy or leaving or whatever is happening with them in this building. So, Palace of Culture, we're getting that. What else do you need? Uh, hospital, yeah, probably a bigger hospital on this side would be uh, okay. Uh, sports, they have this gym, but I'm gonna connect it a little bit better, so let's do that as well. And, um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's connect it like this. Just so they have a little bit easier access from this side. That's fine, so how are you doing? Okay, okay, this has capacity. It has capacity, that's fine. I like this gym, I like this gym. Uh, people are actually not dying or leaving from here, so I think pr uh, project relocation can continue. Uh, Usti... Perfect. And then... What is this? Oh, Usti Town Hall. Yeah, that's not the one. We need this one, and then all the way. There we go. Pozici. Oh, okay. Pozici, the building we chose, it already has less than half. Okay, let's let's give it a a little boost. Uh, that means that uh, it's already uh, not really overpopulated, so that's fine. Shalouch. Uh, this is a new building as well. Off you go. Shall the other side again? The, this is the same thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna depopulate this. I probably should have. Uh, now we have Hlasivo. Hlasivo is classic. Alright, okay. Here we go. And we have another Hlasivo, and I'm pretty sure that this is getting filled up. Uh, and that means that soon we're not gonna have any more... Uh, space for new people to live in, so we're gonna have to expand, extend the city. And this is like, um, this takes a long time. I'm, I'm tired. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm kidding. I'm just uh, thinking about, um, like, for example, uh, there we go. We already uh, resettled whole crap load of people, and kind of for next few episodes, resolved the issue of um, people not being able to move anywhere to new buildings, but. Uh, then we overpopulated this city. Not really. I mean, like, it's fine. It's gonna survive. It's gonna be fine. But uh, um, it's... it's look, look at this now. Look at this now. Eight and a half thousand people. This chemical industry and car industry here, it's gonna be booming as hell. Uh, let's see here. Uh, right, when, we, when I said chemical... Oh, this is not car industry. This is the... 
Wait, wait, wait. What the hell are you doing? Okay, they're unloading. Okay, perfect. Uh, fine. Uh, you need power supply. Okay, we can deal with that. Okay, we have a power plant here, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that we want to disconnect it to the grid. But first, uh, there's a couple of things that we need to do. We need to connect these new factories to the fastest way of them getting to work. So let me try this. Uh, let them build it, I don't really. Um, the time is but a concept. There we go. And then this one is going to be a little bit trickier because we need this one. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that this is going to be close enough, but I think it will. I think this is all going to be close enough. Okay, this building is also without power supply. That's uh, that's a big no-no. Um, okay, so let's do this uh, the proper way. I'm just going to pause for a cause here, and I'm going to press pause, and we're going to cut into these power cables over here. We need to go to power and transformer station, so let's say that we're going to cut into this power system over here. I'm going to rotate this twice, we're going to pay for everything, and we're going to go... Uh, build this one, and that's fine, and then we're gonna go for our high voltage power cables, which is these Connected here and connected here That should be it and uh, now we have this power plant and this additional connection now This is not over what we're gonna do now. We're gonna play with several things first of all I think we're gonna need another one of these so let's go here, and I'm gonna go and build this I'm gonna build another one of these I'm gonna build a muddy road here, this is just for firefighting purposes. And then we're gonna go for power cables and connect this to the power plant and to the grid. So, we have a grid over here, that's bang. And then we have a power plant in this area, but... Let's see where's the best way for us to build this grid, because... Oh, look, it likes it here. Okay, perfect. We can zigzag around this building here. And that's about it. That's here. And it all started just in front of the power plant and the angle is wrong. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Are you connected to the grid now? Yes, voltage is there. There's no voltage over here. That, well, I mean, there's voltage here, but there's no consumption. Perfect. Pause. Okay, now we're gonna go for a new mod. If you watched yesterday's episode of Mod Monday, you will know that we have these bad boys right now. These bad boys are awesome. These bad boys are actually angled um, transformer stations. Transformers. Uh, they can be pointed in any direction you want. So... At the moment, uh, we're gonna point them in this direction. So they're gonna barely fit, but still I'm gonna... Well, how much do they cost? 200,000, that's not cheap. But anyway, it's a power transformer. And let's see, hoping that this is not too close. No, connected. Perfect. So this is a power transformer that... Um, is gonna be connected to a mud road as well, because of the... well as before said firefighting purposes and uh, yes we're gonna have all our power trans power connectors on this side so if i go for our electric substation and see what i can connect here i think i'm not gonna overdo it i'm just gonna do uh, i'm gonna just do classic me you know just like a little bit here and a little bit over here two power uh, transformers and we have a couple of <laughs> this is beautiful there we go, and then just choose one of them from here, and there we go. And this is missing gravel, wood, and crops. Okay, so let's see, uh, what's with these uh, resources that you... Who is this? What is this resource that you're looking for? Let's see. This truck is... Over here. Yes, because we're not sourcing the materials. I forgot to source the gravels, but uh, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna go all the way to uh, Pojici over here, and this is... No, it's sourcing here. Why is that? 
Why is you not uh, driving there? Right, because... Uh, other truck loading station, load, load, load. Because it's not selected over here. Gravel, I forgot to select gravel. Because when I started clicking on this, that means that you need to click on every single one of them that you want supplied over here. And I didn't click on gravel. And now gravel is coming along. And there we go. As soon as I gave them electricity, these... Mofos started cutting down the forest like there's no tomorrow. And that's fine with us. That's fine with us. And what are you missing? You're missing wood crops. Perfect. Okay. These guys are loading uh, all the wood. That's perfect. But they're not going there full. They're just driving around. Come on. Okay. Hopefully they're going to be there fast. What's their top speed here? Okay. It doesn't... Oh, because he was standing still. Which one is going to be first? I just wanted to see if there's any difference in speed uh, with which they're moving around. Not really. Uh, I don't think uh, the speed is uh, crucial in this case. Okay, they're collecting wood. Gravel is on the way. Crops. Crops are going to be imported uh, just initially. Because crops are going to be delivered from here as soon as this is built and finished. Okay, uh, well, 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 they need uh, the crap load of stuff. That's <laughs> the sea of people. Train, stop it! <laughs> right, mm, okay, so we have this one. This has enormous capacity, so. Um, uh, 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 their happiness Ooh, can't work to the education level what's with the education level so you have uh, what is this this is school oh school 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 is a problem as well well isn't it time for us to pay for more crap okay so school 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 here we go and do we have any school that doesn't have road connections I don't think we do let's see Robs, my man, did you make any of them? Uh, maybe not Robs, maybe somebody else. Novu has these, but I have uh, mixed feelings about this because I, one of them was weird. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do that later. School. We need a big school. 15, 25. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a small uh, school. 15, 20, 25, okay. Four-story high school in the 60s, 25, 30, 35, 80s. Ooh, big one. Okay, um, yes. Okay, since we have to do it, let's do it properly. Uh, next to the gymnasium, we have a school. Okay, and now we're going to connect it to the rest of the road or path network. I think this is going to be good enough. And just all the way through. And then um, this gym is going to be connected through here. Even though I think everybody's going to be using this one. And school is going to be connected through here. Perfect. Okay, uh, school is done. School is out for summer uh, power supply. Yes, issues, issues. Okay, uh, do we have enough connectors over there? So let's see if we can do that. We don't, we're running out of time, that's the problem. Never enough time. Power substation. Uh, 700, okay. oh, oh. Ah, oh, but we have these ones. So we and we have an additional connector over here. And I can I can actually use this one. So what we can do over here is uh, Yeah, let's play around. Let's play around. Let's do the same thing we did from before. We're gonna rotate this this way. Uh, maybe maybe this way. Yeah, let's do this way. Uh, and I'm gonna connect it with the high voltage power cables with each other and then that's perfect. And then we're gonna go again to our mod section, and we're gonna go for 90 degree angle. No, we're gonna go for the orange one. There we go. Uh, no, blue one. Let's go on the other side. Uh, I, if we have enough space. We're like NASA. Like Roscosmos. No, no space. Uh, the problem on this side is gonna be that... angle of this connection is going to be weird so i'm hoping that it's going to be okay but um, uh, 
here we go we have new power connection over here and yes you need electricity i'll give you electricity right now no we're gonna go for mods again we're gonna go for underground cables i just hope we have a short enough cables now because it's quite close that's not it the power substation is here 150 meters yeah, we have short enough cables. I never, I never thought I'm gonna be asking those questions. Here we go, a little bit longer. Let's uh, let's roll it like rotate it like this. Perfect. That's not too expensive, not too long. Yeah, because we built a hell of an infrastructure to get the electricity so close. So yeah, maybe that's why. And bang. How you doing? how you do an electricity is here perfect they're using this much so this makes much more sense there you go 50 250 students uh, capacity to move with 35 professors and teachers yes 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 and that's it um I'm quitting. I'm done. Uh, kindergarten can be constructed whenever because kindergarten is whoa three four hundred people cannot work because of the kindergarten thing uh, they're gonna construct it soon enough. Anyway, we need to cut it off here and we need to go and finish it off. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. We need to reinforce this. If you didn't, press the comment in the comment section. What do you think? Green future. I think it's more effective per size, but it's complicated to place it and that kind of stuff, but we'll try to make it. Anyway, thanks for everything. See you in the next. Oh, like and that stuff. Bye.